What's happening, my Android friends? Welcome to your Sunday box office report. Sorry, guys. I apologize for the lateness, the latency of this. Um, I've had a rough day. If you guys saw my blog, vlog, I should say, uh, you'll know why. Uh, I blame Michael Bay. Let's get started. All right, coming in at number five this weekend. It's still running very strong. Maleficent. Walt Disney Pictures, yes, it made another one, let's see what it made, uh, $8.2 million, bringing the grand total after five weeks to $201.9 million, wow, sequel, I smell it, coming in to number four in its second week is Think Like a Man 2, and it adds another $10.4 million, bringing its grand total up to $48.2 million, hopefully I don't smell a sequel, hopefully I just smell you know, me. Coming in number three. God, there's a lot of sequels. Man, there's like the top four are sequels. That is interesting. Anyways, How to Train Your Dragon 2. And it made, it made $13.1 million this weekend, bringing its grand total up to $121.8 million. Coming in at number two in its third week, and it's still running pretty, pretty damn strong. It's awesome. 22 Jump Street. It adds $15.4 million, bringing the grand total to $139.8 million. Not bad for an R-rated comedy, am I right? And of course, coming in at number one, you knew it was going to happen, but I, you were kind of hoping that it would make less than the superhero movies, the, you know, the ones that were actually good, you know, those ones. Uh, Transformers, Age of Extinction, all right? I just actually posted my film review, so you can go see. I kind of, I, I don't really rant. Well, I kind of rant. I go on a little diatribe about, of course, how Michael Bay approaches filmmaking. And, you know, I, I, I try to be I try to be as uh, professional about it as possible, but it is me, guys. But uh, it made, apparently, around $100 million, which is the most that any movie has made yet this year because Captain America was like 94, uh, X-Men was under that. I mean, everything, nothing has broken the $100 million rain, uh, mark. And apparently Michael Bay just knows how to do it and that's exactly why they allow him to keep on making these movies. Yes, we can hate on them all we want, but it, nothing's gonna change, okay? Like I stated in my vlog, like I stated in the film review, he is like the Miley Cyrus Justin Bieber of the directing world right now. He's just, he's got that stigma on his name now and maybe eventually it'll start dying down. I mean, he might go the way of M. Night Shyamalan eventually, but I, I doubt it because the guy knows how to he knows how to make action. He knows how to make super entertaining action sequences sometimes. I mean, for for not people who are not really picking it apart like someone like me, like people who love movies, we'll, we'll pick it apart and be like, wow, that sucks, and that sucks, and that sucks. But, you know, the normal everyday moviegoer, they're just going because they want to see some Transformers kick some ass, and they want to see explosions. And that's exactly the audience that he's trying to grab and that's exactly the audience that paid all this money I mean I was one of them too even though I wasn't looking forward to it I still paid to go see it some of you probably did the same thing because you still want to see what it's like you know and even if it is a shit sandwich it is a shit sandwich it still made a hundred million dollars so expect the sequel to come out in the next couple years directed by Michael Bay maybe unless the the studios go you know what you're just getting a bad rep out there we need to we need to go a different way which would be actually pretty awesome you know let's see it from the eyes of somebody different this time anyways guys let me know what you saw this weekend you probably saw Transformers let me know what you thought about it um, you can check out my review too like I said I just posted it up not too long ago so check that out and also hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind subscribe to my channel if you have not already and please visit filmjunkie.com for your latest in movie news trailers and film reviews so, all right guys i am david the film junkie and i brought you your sunday box office report even though it's probably monday in a lot of places where you guys are at all right guys talk to you later